need to modernize modem technology to be able to handle the potential for higher um, higher data rates, I suppose. Um, you, 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 and if you want to try to virtualize that, then I think the advances really need to consider um, you know, a, where, where you're using those devices, if it is a device indeed, um, or if it's if it's software defined and, and cloud hosted, and now you've got a you know the problem of, of making sure you have a um, uh, sufficient connectivity to manage the transport of the data, you know, coming coming out of, going into and coming out of those devices. Um, so it's really a it's it's more of a, a backhaul problem in, in my in my experience than it is a you know, I would say a, a, an outright um, capability problem in terms of the hardware, the physical hardware. So, for example, if you've got a VBAN terminal in a remote area and you need to get that data from the remote area, um, you know, into the cloud, and that's where your 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 modem is hosted, for example, then you need a tremendous um, backhaul capability from that remote site into the cloud so you can process the raw IF. Um, but yeah, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. You know, we're not in, 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 you know, focused on at, at this point in time. You know, in, in my business and for Atlas Space Operations, we don't we don't have any demand signal from our customer base in the foreseeable future for you know, W and V band technology. Um, we're, we're, we're more focused in the you know, S, X, and KA in terms of you know radio frequency um, spectrum that our customers use.